Hello and welcome YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna look at the um, two figurines here. You have Steel and the Akram. Um, this is the two weapon packs that are dropped for him for each one. Um, Steel Dragonfly and the Akram Razor. So let's look at Steel first. We're gonna put Akram right here. These are the items. There's the Dragon Eyes, the Scalar Armor, DZ-1 Flight Pack, the Arc Light Wings, the Dragon Fangs, and the APC Zipper. Alrighty, so that's what it looks like. Okay, so Steel. He normally has that mounted backpack, and that's about it. So he comes with a little bit more additional firepower now. Um, here's the Dragon Eyes. It's a really sleek looking armor. Helmet. Um, this is an aerodynamic uh, combat helm with a digital HUD. Heads up display. That just slips over his head. Okay, and here's the armor, the scalar armor. Lightweight ballistic body armor. And that just slips onto him like so. And that just alone looks really cool. But as you can see, this is the backpack. This is where it's all at. You have the DZ-1 flight pack, which is a flight pack housing a mini turbine engine, an array of collision detection sensors. I've taken these other sensors. You have the arc light wings, high tensile fiber wings. They're very loosely put on so you have to be very careful. Um, they come off easily unfortunately. As you can see, I'm just gonna let it fall apart for a second. Uh, <laughs> as you can see this is the basic armor. That is going to house the these wings which clip here on the top there. And the, see the pegs there? There. These, in turn, are going to use this to mount. And that holds them in place. These are going to hold the Dragon Fangs. These are the um, armor busting, heat seeking missiles. So these can just go right, like, bust a bunker. Uh, <laughs> or just destroy Karn Synthoids probably and then oh, see that's the only issue I have with this is that it's a very they're very um, rubbery so it doesn't just sit tight tight um, the wings do move which I like and then these ones mount under here gotta be careful so that they don't fall off and then the tail, which is the um, APZ zipper, which is a tail-mounted minigun that fires 3,000 rounds per minute. Not quite as powerful as the Arms of Ares, but still pretty uh, cool. And then this whole contraption pegs into his back, hopefully. If I can get it in there. There we go. No? Doesn't seem to want to peg in there. Okay, so let's pull it apart and do it one piece at a time. So let's get the peg in there. So you might need to do this on your, when you do it. Big wing. Big wing. And then this one... Yeah, yeah, you're going to need to peg that one in first. His helmet came off. And his missiles came off. Both of them. Joy. Hold on a sec. I'll put him back on screen in a second. Well, there he is. There's steel with his dragonfly armor. That's really cool looking. 
I like how the wings do look like a dragonfly. There we go. I don't want to quite stay. There you go. I think that's the best way. And then, again, you're going to have to be very careful. I'm pretty sure you can hold them like this. Um, this has a full range of mo motion. Uh, you just have to be very careful when playing with him or posing him. This whole unit it feels a little fragile. But it looks really good looking. I like what it looks like. I like the coloration. Kind of has like almost like a Cobra Viper vibe to it. Cobra! Anyways, let's put him to the side and let's take a look at the Akram. This is the Akram Razor. You have the Whistler Tyrobines, the Zephyr Stabilizers, Ion Blast Shears, and the Eflux Blaster. And that's what it looks like. So as you know, the Akram is just basically a uh, robot that is controlled by Boyd. So here's your Zephyr... Uh, no, these are the Ion Blast Shears. These are wrist-mounted shielding that also helps the Akram navigate at top speed. You have the Zephyr Stabilizers, which peg in the lower ones. As you can see here. These are... These stabilizers help the Acro maintain precision control in flight. You have the Ion Eflux Blaster, designed for the Acro. This blaster uses a fluctuating electrical pulse to disable enemies. And then you have the Whistler Turbines, which mount up here. And these are Whistler Turbines dual shoulder mounted turbine, uh, turbines boost the Akrams to an increased top speed Mach 1. That's pretty cool looking. And I was trying around. You can indeed put the other pack on it at the same time. to increase his already awesome look. There you go. Here's the Akram fully upgraded with the the wings and the new razor set. I have to say, this looks really, really good. I think that's better lighting now. Um, the coloration looks really good together, except for the lighter gray. I wish I was a little bit darker, but it really brings out how cool and versatile the Akram is. And it looks like with more, it's got several more peg holes, so we only can imagine what more weaponry they're going to be adding to this to increase its capabilities. Um, I, don't, I don't think it can use any other out fits or armor be cool if you can use rocks but I don't think it can on its own though this thing looks really good and it, again very solid this is one of the ones I would trust with small kids this one and the brutes they are very durable feeling but yep yeah, there you go there is the Akram and Steel's new outfits new armors and I would suggest go ahead and pick them up if you can. They're out available in your state. They both get my seal of approval. Peace out, YouTube, and have a great day.